good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are back at it again with another wwe elite action figure review and i wanted to say brad I wanted to say, I want to change the review station. Now, I don't know how I want to do it, but I want it to be something unique and different. I thought about doing the Shardimus Prime method, but I feel like a lot of people kind of do that now, where it's the solid white and all of that stuff. If you guys have any cool ideas or whatever, let me know down in the comment section below, but let's go ahead and dive in, man. We have the ringside exclusive WWE Elite NWO WrestleMania John Cena, of course, from WrestleMania 36, where he took on The Fiend, and he was kind of transitioning through time and all that, <laughs> and it's pretty cool. I like this, you know, um, I mean, the moment was cool. The match was cool. I don't know if I wanted it in a figure, though. You know, a ringside exclusive, I'm thinking, like, outside the box. I feel like the ringside exclusives, is, and don't get me wrong, we have some bangers, but here lately, we have had some ones where I'm just like, what is this, Bradley? So let's go ahead and dive into it, guys. You guys will see here, it says Tradition Bites, NWO for life, ringside exclusive, varnished on there. It's not a sticker any longer. WWE logo, John Cena got some NWO stuff over there. Beautiful image of John Cena there. WWE Elite logo, NWO at the top. Another image image of Cena there. Nothing at the bottom. On the back, it says for life. You got John Cena there playing the world title. If we zoom in right here, you guys will see the bio read. If you guys would like to read that, go ahead and pause it right now. And then uh, that pretty much does it. There's not much at the bottom, but we also have the little viewing window and this is like, uh, I guess, cardboard cut out together so you can kind of slice that open. And you can reveal the figure and you will see him there kind of floating through the twilight zone or something. So, and I can already see that my hat is misprinted. Look Look at the look at that. We'll we'll dive into it. But here's the figure NWO, all the good stuff. If you guys want to take a look at that, there's all the hands and everything like that. But let's go ahead and crack this NWO John Cena out of his packaging. And there is John Cena out of the packaging, all in his NWO look. Now, I will say, I mean, I have some major gripes with this figure already out of the packaging, man. Like, I, I am already seeing some stuff that I am not a big fan of, but we will dive into all those things. We're going to break down the accessories. We're going to break down everything you get with this figure and all those things. Now, again, leave your comments down below what you thought of this ringside exclusive. Now, I'm going to be real. You do get the little cool background piece, the WCW kind of Monday Night Nitro, you know, little throwback piece, which is pretty cool. I think it could make for a cool display piece, especially up on like a display. You know, you could have it up there with the thick shelves and the NWO and the WCW display. I think that would be cool with your Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan and stuff. I think that would be cool. However, guys, with all that being said, we only have one figure here today, so we don't have to run it back and take a closer look at anything. We can take a closer look at this guy's accessories, and then we'll take a closer look at this guy, and then we'll compare him to a custom NWO Cena that I have, and we're going to get into the thing. So let's shut the hell up and do it. So diving into Cena's accessories, guys, starting out, I mean, you get a ton of NWO stuff. So if you guys wanted to load up a faction, you wanted to put some stuff on display with your NWO shirts, you could put that on a bunch of people. I would guess that this guy is going to drop in price, right? I mean, I, I feel like he's going to trend in the way that, that Bray Wyatt did and that the Kurt Angle did in the Shield gear. I could be wrong, of course, but I think that that is the trend that this guy's going to follow. I feel like he's going to be kind of easy to get your hands on. Like, I feel like not a ton of people went out and bought this thing, if you get what I mean. I could be wrong. Again, I might be wrong, but that's just what my first instinct is when it comes to this figure. Now, if we look at the NWO shirt, this is really quality. I can't recall if we've gotten the short sleeve cloth version. I I know we've gotten, you know, rubber versions. I know we had the sleeveless version. I know we've gotten some stuff like that, but I don't know if we've had the full cloth version like this before. So I know a lot of people are going to be happy about this. You can put this on so many different guys, and it is a great quality t-shirt. Fits really well, and it's on that bigger body because the John Cena has a big body, so that is good as well. Now, as far as his other accessory, it is his hat accessory. Now, you guys can already see mine is misprinted because it's not supposed to look like this. The NWO is supposed to be in the middle there, and mine's misprinted. And also, this this hat, I don't know what it is, but it feels very cheap. Like, look at that. It reminds me of a Jack's hat. You know, it, like, feels kind of flimsy. Doesn't have a lot of structure to it. If you guys wanted to put this on the figure, um, I mean, I guess they made it that flimsy material so that it could stretch over this big head because he's got, like, that hair sculpt on there. So I'm guessing that's why they did it, but I don't know. It doesn't look the greatest on the figure either. And it's just one of those things. Now, again, it'd be a little bit different. I'm still probably gonna put it in my crowd or something. It's just not one of those. I mean, I, I, I mean, it's misprinted, so I don't really want to put it on my John Cena shelf with my other John Cenas on this figure. But I don't know. We'll see about that. But mine is misprinted, and it's very flimsy, and I don't know. It's just not the quality that other Cena hats have been. And look how, like, long it looks. I know it's because of the hair sculpt. It's just kind of oddly. Next up, guys, we do get two sweet hands, so that is great. You could put this on Finn Balor. You could put this on... I mean, there's so many guys, right? You could put these two sweet hands on a lot of different guys. So he does come with Mike holding hands. He comes with the two sweet hands, and he also comes with the playing the 
the air guitar or playing the championship guitar hands so he you know he can hold it strum it all of those things and everything like that so you do get the ricochet shake your hands or whatever the hell you want to call that and then we get the big gold world heavyweight championship now it's not the wcw version you guys can see there it does have the wwe logo and stuff but i want to say this is the first is this the first time ever that we're seeing the lowercase n with the w and the o I, maybe the ultimate edition hulk hogan came with it but i want to say this is either the second time or the first time that we've seen the lowercase nwo in the black color like this on a championship so i know a lot of people are going to be excited about that to get another one of those if we've seen it before or it could be the first time but that is just something i want to point out also missing the jewels there on my side plates not the biggest deal but something worth mentioning i wish they'd redo this title mold and like kind of make it thinner not so thick but what do you do now brad we're pretty much you know we're, we're so deep in the game now that it's just like oh yeah what do you do and you guys already saw the little background piece that you get it does say monday night nitro tradition bites nwo for life and you got the wcw entrance stage right there but let's dive into john cena himself so getting into john cena guys looking at this head sculpt i want to set i don't know if this is a new head sculpt i think it's a new head sculpt he's making that like frowning kind of expression that he's making on the packaging i'm not the biggest fan of the head sculpt to be honest with you it just looks a little bit off to me the hair is like that you know that hollywood kind of john cena looking hair he's got the john cena torso that we used to see on his figures you know they switched it over to the shorter short mold and he does have like the longer arms instead of the short bigger biceps uh this is the older john cena torso that we've seen on the decade of domination you know they they flip back and forth between those two torsos i don't mind it it works for me it's a muscular body it works everything like that john cena is a massive guy we go down into the jeans it's like a dark navyish black it's not quite black like in, on camera it kind of looks like black but in uh person it's like a dark dark navy like a super dark navy you guys can see there he is he is on ball joints, so that's something to take note of if you guys wanted to know that. Then he has his tennis shoes or his sneakers or his boots there, and it's regular boot feet with the outsoles painted white to look like trainers, I'm guessing, but this is the same jean mold we've seen multiple times, and, you know, again, it's just not the most exciting figure. Like, again, like, I don't know. It's just one of those figures. I don't care about the attire. The accessories are nice and everything like that, but I'm the biggest John Cena fan you'll find. It's just one of those that kind of kind of falls flat for me, not one that I would actively seek out, but I understand why other people would want it in their collections but there is the john cena figure himself so for our figure comparisons guys here is the new ringside exclusive john cena up next to my custom one that a fan sent me huge shout out to you bro you're a beast but well, you guys can kind of see the differences this is the t-shirt molded now this is what i've seen before for this i don't think we've seen a cloth t-shirt like this so that is something to definitely note i know that a ton of people are going to want this for the accessories and stuff it's just it's just not my favorite you know what i mean it's just one of those things that i don't care that much about so there is that but i mean that's really all i can say about this John Cena figure, man. Would you rather have the t-shirt molded or the cloth t-shirt? I'm team cloth t-shirt. I don't know about you guys, but I'm team I'm team cloth t-shirt, but I'm not team damn misprint my NWO hat, I'll tell you that. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, I think that about does it for our ringside exclusive John Cena Elite Figure Review. If you guys would like to grab this thing, you know you want to go add it to your collections, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Tons of stuff over there, man. Like, so many things have just been popping. Elite 86, you got AEW Series 5, you got Ringside exclusive Jurassic Sick Express. You got ringside exclusive John Cena. You got basics. You got pre-orders. I mean, there's so many things flying around the WWE and wrestling action figure world right now that it's honestly exhausting to keep up with. But to tomorrow, we do have a brand new ringside exclusive review, so definitely check that out. It's going to be absolutely epic. And then the next day, Brad, we got surgery, and that's going to be freaking flexing on them. You know what I'm saying? So do not miss out on that. That will be absolutely insane. But overall thoughts on this figure? Completely skippable, unless you want the accessories. You know, you want these accessories, you you know you want every ringside exclusive i mean there's some definite things about it that i would say are cool but just at the end of the day not my favorite thing and yeah i would just i i, I don't know about that one bradley but before you get out of here guys let's get into the random shout outs gonna go to nick storm review my boy he says pour one out for the homie cesaro's arm and yeah man cesaro's arm got absolutely mashed bless him just just got absolutely destroyed by everyone so i don't know if they're gonna you know write him off television again i don't know what's going on with that but thank you guys so very much for checking out the review i would love to see what you you guys think of this figure the ringside exclusive all those things but i'm getting out of here guys subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram and twitter my damn toys and i'll see you guys in the next video and don't cross the line like the hat the freaking hat you know what you did hat you know what you did you crossed the line i've been